Hello everyone, we're going to be going over a very high level game by two grandmasters. As white is Nikita Vichugov. At the time of the game, he was almost 2700. And as black is Sebastian Mize, who at the time of the game was almost 2600. Okay, let's begin the game. White began with d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, c5, d5, black captured on d5, white captured on d5, d6, e4, g6, f4, bishop g7, and white gave a check on b5, knight f d7, knight f3, this is the Benoni, black castled, white castled, d6, bishop d3, d5, king h1, White's idea in this in this opening is to go f5 with the idea of bishop g5, but the problem is if he goes f5 now, there's knight e5, bishop d5, and now doesn't work because of course there's knight f3 check and white loses. So that's why king h1 is a strong move. Rook e8, a3, just stopping some potential b4. It's a good move, and now c4, bishop c2, knight c5, f5, white's to start an attack, ideas such as bishop g5, or queen e1 to h4, or g3, knight bd7, bishop g5, bishop f6, h4, knight e5. This was a blunder. Black should have played something like bishop b7, and the game could have continued some way like queen e1, queen e7, queen g3, and the position is approximately equal. Instead of bishop e7, black played knight e5, white captured on e5, black captured on e5 with the rook, white took on g6, black took the bishop on g5, white captured on f6, 7 check, king f8, and white played queen h5. Of course, if white captures the bishop, then queen takes, and white is a little bit better, but nothing huge. Instead, white went queen h5, white is totally winning here. Black played bishop d7. Black goes bishop f6. Right now you see how white is attacking the bishop. Black goes 6 and white just plays queen h7. And now white has so many threats and black tries to run away with, for example, king e7. Then white can go rook takes f6. King takes f6. And now rook f1 and the game is over. So instead of black plays knight d7, white Captures on f6, and now with knight f6, queen h8, check, king e7, queen takes d8, and the game's over. And of course, black captures back with the queen, and there's queen g8, check, king e7, and queen e8, mate. So, black played bishop d7, white took on h7, game is over, bishop f6, rook f4, now white just doubling. Bishop h3, it's totally over for black, white just went rook f1. Of course, you can also take the bishop, it really doesn't matter here. Rook f1, knight d7, and white captured on h3, and black decided to resign. So it's really an amazing game by white. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Also, please give this video a like. But if you don't like the video, then please tell me why, and I'll try to improve. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please tell me in the comments below. Bye, have a good day, see you in the next video.